Welcome back. This is Eric Magidson again with Central Oregon Community College. Let's continue on with Lesson 15, Adding Citations, Sources, and a Bibliography. We're still using the Microsoft Office Academic Course by Wiley Publishing. You can get this book if you want out at wiley.com forward slash college forward slash Microsoft. The book comes with all the data files that we'll be using today. So let's get started. I've already opened up the first lady's document that we need and we're gonna do a citation so if you're on the home tab let's go to references and we're gonna be focusing in on the citations and bibliography area the first one it wants me to put in is at the end of the second paragraph right behind Mayo and Marangolo I'm gonna choose insert citation and since I don't have any citations as of yet I'm gonna choose add new source I'm going to want to do more than just the minimum, so I'm going to choose Show All Bibliography Fields. And while I type this in, I'm going to pause the video. I suggest you pause it as well, type in the information, and then click Play, and we'll start again. There we go. We've typed all the information. There's the author, Mayo Edith and Marangolo Denise D. Title, First Ladies, Political Role in Public Image. The year is 1990. City is Washington. State, D.C and publisher is Smithsonian Institute. Now once I've entered all the fields that I want to enter I'll go ahead and choose OK and it puts the citation right within the document for me. So notice that this is in an APA style if we come up to citations and bibliography we can see APA most of my students have to use MLA so they would come and choose the MLA style and that changes the citation accordingly to MLA style let's go ahead and do another citation it wants me to come down to the fourth paragraph and find the word speech since that might take a while I'm gonna go ahead and hit the control F key type in speech choose find next and it's gonna show me right where I want to insert that citation so I'm gonna choose right behind there again insert citation I want to add a new source it is a book notice that there's a lot of different sources we can choose from here It'll give us all the fields we need for the appropriate citation. And I'm going to go ahead and pause. I suggest you pause as well. Fill out this form. Hit the play button and we'll start again. Once I've completed the typing, I'm going to go ahead and choose the OK button. And that again puts the citation right where I need it. So let's look at editing citations. Let's say I made a mistake in the first one. I'm going to come up here. There's two ways to do it. I can do it in line in the document by selecting the citation. This was the first one we did. And I'm going to choose Edit Source. So let's edit the source by changing the year here from 1990 to 1994. Now once I do that, I'm going to choose OK. And it's going to give me this box right here. It says this source exists in your master list and current document do you want to update both lists with these changes yes I do so I'm gonna choose yes and that updated behind the scenes that information now since we've edited the source let's also look at editing the citation so this is the actual inline citation I'm gonna go ahead and suppress the author which we show there and choose OK and instead it's gonna replace it with the title of the of the book so there's one way to change that. Now since we've typed that citation once we don't have to type it again. Let me show you. Here is a quote from that book. I'm gonna go ahead and choose right behind background come into insert citation and this time instead of new source I'm gonna choose that existing one. Now since we've got that citation listed here I don't have to list it this way so I'm gonna choose here I'm going to edit the citation, not the source, but the citation. I'm going to say that this quote came from page 8 of the book. I'm going to suppress the author and the title and say OK. And it changes to page 8. This is because I've already cited it up here. And until I cite another source, I can go ahead and just reference the page number. Another way to manage sources is to come up to again the citations and bibliography section and choose manage sources this opens up the source manager and lists all of my sources so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one I'm gonna choose edit it brings up that information we chose before instead of typing out all of New York I'm gonna just use the shortcut NY choose OK 
It again is going to ask me if I want to update the master list. I'm going to say yes, and that now is updated. So there's two ways to do it. We can do it inline, or we can do it via managed sources. So let's say I go ahead and I put in a, a citation. Let's put in a citation right here after this one again. So I'm going to choose right here after Anthony. Insert citation. Now the book has you retype everything, but I'm going to choose this one again. There's my citation. That's where I wanted to put it. But now to delete this one, I'm going to go ahead and select the entire citation and just hit the delete key. So there the citation is gone from here, and it's in the right place in the document here. So again, to delete a citation, just highlight the entire citation placeholder and select the delete key. So here's the really great part of this whole thing. We've entered all of our citations for our document, and we're ready to do a bibliography. I'm going to scroll all the way to the end of the document, finding the end. I'm going to choose at the end and hit enter. I'm going to insert a quick page break and I'm going to choose to do a bibliography right here. So I'm going to go to the references tab. This time choose bibliography from the citations and bibliography section. It gives me the option of a bibliography or a work cited. I'm going to choose a bibliography and it automatically has placed the bibliography in here for me. Now, let me just clue you in on something. This may not be the exact MLA style that your instructors want, so make sure you look at the punctuation and the indention and etc. to make sure that your MLA or your APA style matches what your instructors are looking for. I found this to be a great way to do this for my APA for my master's degree but I did find that the APA style differed from what my instructors were looking for. So now that we have the bibliography done, let's say we wanted to update the bibliography. I forgot one of my citations. I'm going to again go control F. This time I'm looking for Guten in the document. There it is. I'm going to put it right behind there. Insert and let's go ahead and do a new source. Remember how to do that? We're going to go into insert citation, add new source, this one is also going to be a book. I'm going to open up all of these and again I'm going to pause while I enter the data. Now again I've entered all of the information for my new source. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. It puts the citation in there for me but now I've got to update the bibliography. Well that's the great part. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the document choose the bibliography and right here update update citations and bibliography I'm gonna choose that and look my brand new citation is in there so I'm perfect that's it for this lesson we'll see you next time for lesson 16 entitled performing mail merges